There's a preacher whom probably everyone in here knows. I had a vision about him last year. And in the vision, I saw him in his home. And in the vision, I saw him in his home. And in his home, I saw him smoking a cigarette. And I saw two homosexual guys on his right and on his left. And I left the vision, in the vision, I'm still in the vision, but I left the house and went to the service. He was preaching. And people was going crazy. Like they was hanging all on the, the roof and ceiling it, going crazy because he was preaching so wonderful. But then I went back in the vision and saw him leave the church and go back to the house with a boy on the left, boy on the left, smoking a cigarette. Came out the vision, said, Lord, what is this? He said, this is the spirit of perversion that has crept into his life. He said, I've heeded him and gave him warnings, but he refused to listen. He said, now what I shall do is I shall take the anointing off of him and place it upon another. Well, I seen the preacher and he was preaching and folk was still getting delivered. Now God told me he'd taken the anointing off of him. But I seen him preaching. Folk got delivered. I didn't understand that. And the Lord spoke to me. I was sitting in that room. Now I saw folk going crazy, but I'm sitting in the service and I'm crying. And I wasn't crying because I felt the presence of God. I was crying because the church is so deceived that we don't know the presence of God. I said, we're so deceived that we're shouting, we're screaming, we're bugging. And we don't know the difference between the genuine presence of God and gift. What? A lot of folk don't have presence, they just have gift. I have a gift. I can minister to you. I can call out your name. I'm, I'm seeing today. I can call out your name and address it, make you shout, make you give millions and billions and, and trillions of dollars. I know what to say. I know how much money is in your account. Do you know the same God that tell me your name and your addresses and your phone number will tell me whether you're sitting on your money, tell me how much money you're sitting on? Don't you know you can't hide that stuff from me? But I'm concerned about your inner man. See, until you get this inner man right, you can't get this flesh right. We have a good way of dressing up everything on the outside, but being evil on the inside. I see this preacher still operating, preaching, still call around the country, preaching, going crazy. The Lord spoke to me. He said, son, remember I told you, I'm the only boss that will fire you and let you keep working. You don't play with God. I told God, whatever you do, don't let me be fired and I don't even know it. Pray every morning is God, please don't let me just come to church and preach. And I'm prophesying and folk being delivered and I die and go to hell. God, if it's anything in my life, get it out of me now. Saul was king for 40 years. He was only anointed for two. Two. Two years. That means for 38 years, God left him in position. But the presence of God had left him. You think you're alright because you're still singing the choir. Still preaching behind the pulpit. You think, you think, you don't even know that God done stripped you. Adam, the day you eat the fruit, you shall surely what? Adam was still walking. He was a walking dead man. God spoke to me. He said, son, I got so many ways of killing you and letting your flesh stay alive. Lift your hand. Say, Lord, don't do it to me. Say it again. Lord, don't do it to me.